people ask me all the time, how do you know if a grape's ripe? I was like, well, how do you know if an apple's ripe? You take a bite out of it. Does it taste good? They've been making wine for thousands of years, so it's not, you know, it's not like building a space shuttle. It's pretty basic. You, know, you have to grow really good fruit to make really good wine. My name's John Durthick. I'm the owner of Lujan Wine Cellars. There's always been kind of this romanticism about the wine industry, and I think for the most part, a lot of people don't really understand. It's nothing more than making a giant mess and then cleaning it up every day. And he does everything. He drives the trucks, pushes down all the grapes. He goes out in the fields and checks the grapes, makes sure when they're ready. He's a military vet. He's a Navy vet. His dad's an Air Force vet. Having worked for a big company, I admire somebody that takes charge and does everything themselves. My name is Willie Lawfer, and I worked for the largest brewer in the world for uh, 31 years. I decided, well, I want to do something different. Well, then COVID hit. Everybody knows when COVID hit, everything shut down. And I was quarantined for 13 days, I believe, maybe 14 at the time. So my wife would throw the mail down to me because I do the mail and she threw a wine spectator down and I saw Lou John Winery and they got a 92 on a $28 bottle of wine and I'm like, holy cow, what a great value that is for that kind of score. Well, you know what? I'm going to see what this guy is all about. And I said, hi, John, you must work for Lou John Winery. And he said, well, actually, I'm the owner and I am the guy that makes the wine and I'm the truck driver. And I, thought, I said, oh, you're a small business then. He said, yeah. We saw about a 60% drop in our revenue from COVID. And the only thing that really was a godsend was the fact that that 92 that I got on the, on the uh, 16 cab, uh, I was able to sell a significant portion of that to Costco, which basically we survived on for the whole year. This side of the vine here, which is west facing, has leaves on it. Or if you look at this side of the vine, which is east facing, we pulled all the leaves. So you can see all the fruit, you know, there's clearly a difference. So the reason we do that is the shading prevents the sunburn from the hot afternoon sun facing west. And we open up the east side because it gets the morning sun and it dries off the grapes and gets rid of the dew. So it prevents mildew. Cool, huh? I'm Louis Durthick, a native of Portland, Oregon. Lived here most of my life with the other part being in the military. Got me around the country better. The guy I was golfing with, his name was Chuck. We came in after the round and had a, had a beer and we're chit-chatting and I told him about John making me some good Cabernet. He said, well, I've got a name for your company. I said, really? Well, we haven't got a company yet. <laughs> he said, but I got it figured out. He said, you're Lou, he's John, we'll call it Lou Jean. So he did a real French thing with the name, you know, kind of uh, implying it would be French. So that's where that name came from, it was a golfing match. One of the things that really got me involved with is this uh, nonprofit called Folds of Honor. And you hear uh, all these veteran um, causes and, and charities, and but I'd never heard of Folds of Honor. And so being a veteran, and my dad's a veteran, so we're a veteran-owned business, you know, I started researching into Folds of Honor, and I'm like, wow, this is a really worthwhile um, cause. Folds of Honor is a great organization. 91 cents out of every dollar you donate goes to the ultimate recipients. It's not one of these charities that you donate a dollar and you have no idea where it goes. The mission they have is amazing. They, they find either someone who's injured or was killed uh, in the U.S. military and what happens to their family is very important to them. So what they do is they give scholarships to the kids, to the spouses of the military person who may have been injured or lost their lives, and they get scholarships all the way through college. We donate, you know, on our sales. Every, every case we sell, we donate. Um, and Willie's been in inspirational and helped get this going. I didn't realize how many retail outlets actually support Folds of Honor. You know, I, as I started researching it more and more, I was like, wow, these people are big. So it's been good for John and Lou John. It's been good for the Folds of Honor. And it's been good for me. I've, I, I'm very proud of what I've done with them. It's not necessarily about, you know, Lou John, but it's about, you know, being part of something that's a little bigger and, and, um, 
give it back and and pushing a cause, you know.